Okay, I haven't seen who it was yet, but someone literally just took that girl's bicycle. Well, it doesn't look the best conditions for dumpster diving. I should have got out earlier for sure, but a friend of mine just blessed me with an awesome, awesome tech carry-on suitcase. So I just plugged away at making a couple of videos for the tech channel and then went to go pick that up. But now I'm out and about. We're gonna hit a few complexes. It's socked in for the evening. Hopefully it dries out for tomorrow. You never know what you might find. Again, it was dry up until about an hour and a half ago or so. So hopefully people left some stuff out. And yes, they sure did. We have a vacuum right here. And again, sorry, the window is gonna be wet. And then that looks to be, no joke, that looks to be a small air conditioning unit. I definitely need to go in for a closer look and see what that is. If that's a huge air purifier, maybe before I snag it, I'll do a little bit of research. Well, they're fetching about 50 bucks plus shipping. You could probably, after eBay fees, make about 50 bucks on that Honeywell. I probably should have rescued them out of the rain, but who knows if they even work now. They might, but we skipped out on it. Don't know if that was the best idea. We probably should have took them. Oh man, that rain is just killing good product. Two beautiful couches and a stool. Yeah, sure it could dry off, but you gotta get that in storage immediately and take a blow dryer to it. All right, let's take a look over here real quickly here. There were some girls throwing some stuff away and it looks like someone's pulling out of their garage, but I wanted to film this real quick. We got a vacuum, boxes, and some sort of organization unit. Uh, looks like some really nice coffee boxes. Someone picked up some nice new coffee uh, makers. Doesn't look like anything else. Just looks like empty boxes, that little storage unit, and that vacuum. So we'll go ahead and push on. But I did see something else over here, which I'm trying to determine what exactly it was. I think it's just some love seats. No, is that an organizational unit? Oh no, oh no. Well, it doesn't matter if it's a rainy day. People are still laying product out. That is an entertainment stand with the bottom stand uh, here and here with a raise up and you uh, mount your wall mount. Looks like all the screws are in the bag right there. And then there looks to be a Ziploc bag full of something. That might be something good. Let's go see what's up. Alrighty, look at that beautiful, beautiful baby seat carriage cradle thingamabobber. Oh no. It got, I don't know if it got wet or I don't know if they put it out now. We need to go rescue that. No joke, the very next trash cans. Another child seat and a little girl's bicycle. How crazy is that? I'm trying to determine if there's something next to the child's seat. I can't really tell. Might have to go in for a closer look. That is crazy, back to back. Because it's so close to the first, well, past the first now, obviously. People are moving and they're like, we can't wait, we're just gonna get rid of it. And sure, they could probably just throw it out, but they don't want it. You know what I'm saying? They wanna go ahead and just give it away. So, some people have a man cave and some people have a boat that they park in their garage. Okay, I haven't seen who it was yet, but someone literally just took that girl's bicycle and the car seat there has to be some sort of oh i think it's this uh prius right here the prius with the back open right here that's super cool though i think they actually live here and they grabbed that for their daughter that is super cool so excited if they got it because they did not look like your typical dumpster divers <music> Oh, 
All righty, we got a dishwasher here, folks, a dishwasher. I don't know if that's stock either. That looks like something that somebody brought over from another place. There was potentially something else over here on the ground. Let's see if we can get a better look at it here. Oh, it's like a nice little basket, kind of like a nice little basket for a coffee table. Sorry, a little bit hard to see there, but we've seen wicker baskets before. Well, 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 what do we got here, Johnny? Wozers looking real, real good right there. We got a like a nice little like uh, old wooden chair with a nice little foot ottoman. What's that behind there? Oh, it's a oh oh, daddy. Yeah, daddy wants that uh, little sling back IKEA one behind there. Hopefully they put it out. Looks dry. Oh goodness, let's go in for a closer look. Well, unfortunately, it got rained on, and it wasn't in as nice of a condition as I'd like to take for my own place. It was definitely nice, don't get me wrong on that one, but sometimes when there's such good picking, sometimes you can choose to be a little bit more pickier. I guess what's gonna go into your own motif. Sure, I could sell that, but I don't like how there was a bunch of water doused on it. Real good right there. Here we go, two nice stool chairs, black leather, full wood, black leather, two of them. We got two of them there, Johnny. Johnny's been throwing so much good stuff away, he doesn't even know what he's throwing away anymore. All right, we got a car over here with the hazards on, but I saw this for a split second and I wanted to come back and film it here. We got ourselves a nice cooler right there. All right, let's go ahead and come on over here and I'm gonna be donating most of this stuff here, but I wanted to show you before I did. Another nice leather wallet here. This one's by Crown Fine Leather. And of course, I've already looked through it. Don't you worry about that one. Nothing inside, unfortunately. We got a couple of Norwegian Airlines earphone holders here that's pretty cool and then also a couple of i'm gonna botch the name of that but there's the name of the earphone company and those are little holders for your earphones and there's actually new earphone tips inside there we have a kate spade cool little thing it's a little worn on the inside so we're just going to go ahead and donate that has a little strap and handle there by kate spade that was pretty cool and then this was interesting here there's some either costume jewelry or something else. I'm not exactly sure. I'll look through it a little bit more, see if that's any sort of silver. But we look like we almost have some sort of cubic zirconium or potentially very, very small diamonds, but I hardly doubt it. We'll see. You never know. Anyway, that was inside of this thing right here. If you guys know anything about Ernest Jones, if that's legitimate, let me know. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and donate this, 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 and this. We'll go ahead and keep that for right now and keep that. We also have, of course, the shoe thing I picked up the other night. And then coming over here, this again was the same entire haul. All this was in that huge bag. We have ourselves a little charm thing here, which is kind of cool. Has like a key on it with some hearts, kind of clips into your purse or something like that. We have a iPhone, a uh, large iPhone, iPhone Plus wallet holder there, detachable case, uh, another little wallet there, kind of cute little one. We have a Nine West purse here, and then we have ourselves an Eddie Bauer laptop bag. Fantastic, not to mention the Coach purse which I will be selling. Kind of like actually like more of a shoulder bag, very um, small. The depth is pretty good, but it's kind of a uh, thin, narrow this way. That should fetch definitely two pizza money right there. So overall, that bag was a great grab bag. I haven't had one of those grab bags in quite a while. We got a lot we're donating right here. This is the bag of shoes, some pots and pans, another messenger bag. But before we wrap it up here, I wanna show you, okay, there's the vacuum and the printer. Big money there, big money. Air purifier, or air conditioning, haven't quite got to that yet. It's a Korean model. Shoe rack, we've already seen. 
But coming over here, Popeye and I just picked this up last night. And you're like, who is Popeye? Popeye, I call him Popeye. That's dad in Portuguese. That's Natalie's dad. We went out to throw away our trash last night. And this bidet system, again, remember that last bidet? Miss, call me Mr. Bidet Man. They even included the instruction manual, all the cords, all the wires. It's not as nice of a model as the one I found before that I did sell for $165. This one should fetch upwards of $100. So absolutely fantastic. Another bidet system. Over here, full-blown catcher, Easton catcher. We got the mask. We got the elbow pads, the knee pads, the chest protector. It's all here. I'm not exactly sure how much that would fetch. I might look into eBay or potentially going over to Play It Again Sports, which is a company that buys pre-owned sporting goods. It's definitely worn, but hopefully I should be able to fetch some decent cash out of that. So overall, we're looking fantastic. Let's continue forward. Oh, and I almost forgot. A Vera Wang little, I think it was like a cosmetic bag. And then it's like just for you for a boy, like a little bottle and stuff like that. So like a little gift bag. I don't know if they put that in the Vera Wang bag, but uh, I'll go ahead and just donate that as well. But that was pretty cool. Every day and every night, every night. Every day and every night, every night.